history is happening to be to this science. Now we are coming to meta systems. Just as we call grandfather, the father of father, the system of system. Now they are researching on cybernetics of cybernetics. The systems of system. If there is a system, there must be a seed for a tree which has given once more a seed. Likewise, there must be a system for a system. That system is known as meta system. We have no meta system in economics. In mathematics, there is a meta system. In biology, we have. In psychology, we have meta systems. We have meta systems in all parts of India. Even in now, we have meta languages, which is known as a, a very great tackling problem in computer science. It is known as handling and tackling problem in modern computer science. Wherein by they say that while well, language is inadequate, we need a larger context than the language's uh, apprehension or language's applicability or accessibility. We need something more than a language, and that is known as meta language. Likewise, we are having meta systems engineering. If somebody is going to read, somebody if they say, I am reading MBUS, that is, uh, I am just mastering my masters of science in meta systems engineering, then there is a growth of innovative sciences. Meta system engineering, then meta system transition, and there is also one more system which is antipoietic reflexive system theory. It is reflexive, uh, yes. Yes, allipoietic is also there, and autopoietic and uh, allipoietic is also there. So there are two divisions in there. And uh, reflexive, <coughs> autopoietic, reflection theory, and uh, transition theory of these meta systems, as well as research into various other combinations of engineering meta devices and meta systems that is there in the modern trend. Apart from which, now we are coming into the real study of the historical pursuit of cybernetics and philosophical study of cybernetics also. The first thing is you know that cybernetics is started as a small worm, it started as a small micro. They just call it as some signs of control and communication alone. The theories of uh, Nobert Wittmann, first recently they started as just it is simple control and communication system. Then second it came into Stafford Brief theory when he defined it as the effective system of organization, that is Stafford Beer's theory, when he said that it is effective organization. The effective organization is a very wonderful word, it is a very wonderful coin, for which we have to take a single day for fullest explanation. Even though he has not meant so, the word is so powerful more than his constructive derivation. So Stafford B. he told that it is effective organization. Then there is Kaufman, Louis Kaufman's theory, when he said that it is the interaction between systems of equanimity and equality by which they produce themselves from themselves. That was the description given by Kaufman. He told that they interact with themselves, they produce themselves from themselves. Cybernetics is study of such systems which are interrelated with themselves, which produce themselves from themselves. That is the Kaufman's uh, theory of understanding cybernetics. In cybernetics, there are five major things which we have to study. The first thing is studying about the innate ability. Number one, learning, adoption, cognition or memory power, understanding about social control, emergence, community, various other things that dwell with human beings and human nature and behavior, that is the first level or first grade of study. The second grade of study which we are doing is instead of boosting our intelligence, somebody boosts the intelligence of mission and everybody, those who are subservient in intelligence, they are just operators, or mute spectators are blind receivers of the benefits of science without indulging much into the innovative study, losing their temper, attitude and diluting the brain structure and brain potence. So the second thing is robotics and artificial intelligence which is the birth of artificial intelligence and the death anniversary of human intelligence. That is the second thing. And third thing is it is biological. <coughs> it deals with biological systems. That is bio, biomedical, Biosemiotic, semiotic divisions. Now they are going to research on cyborgs, in which there are biosensitive compounds and biosensitive operations in mechanical structures like bioprosthetics, neuroprosthetics, bioprosthetics, innumerable things. Now they are going to brand human beings with machines like cochlear implant, brain port, brain gate, whole body translation, mind uh, import, mind download, brain download, upload, innumerable things. Now they are in making in fiction and fallacy. Now they have recently started at the University of Illinois. It is Biological Computer Laboratory. I don't know what harm they are going to bring both to biological creatures as well as computers. Or for both. <laughs> so this is 
the new area that is going on. Now we are living in the second order of cybernetics, a garden task. It is the second order of cybernetics. Apart from the control and communication systems, apart from the definition that has been given that it is effective organization. I want to define effective organization. In Sanskrit, number one, God has already organized nature, the qualities of human beings as well as the subsentient, semi-sentient, insentient and infrasentient creatures and systems. First, it has been very supportively made. That is the first level of organization. That is well organized. In second level, you are organizing lot of things on the basis of your want, emergency, expansion, exploitation, population, widening and various things. That is second order. Third order, in order to do all of these things, you are devising tools. You are devising methods, tools, engineering devices. That is the third level. In the fourth level of organization, lack of problematic issues, they have come into rise of their ugly heads. Now we are trying to derive some sort of solutions for that. Now we are in the fourth level. So first is already we are organized. Second, we want to organize something more. Third, we want to organize something for organizing that something more. Number fourth is effective organization, distribution of the same thing without sociological, political, economical barriers. That is the fourth level of organization. These four levels are done by dharma. So, in deeper sense, the exact definition for cybernetics is dharma. For he, he says that it is effective organization, then organized things, already everything is organized. Who has made flowers to have honey and who has made cows to bear milk? Are you being made that? Are we making these things? Nothing. Everything is well made. We want to make it better. We want to divide more things and we want to distribute the same thing. If everything is done in the pathway of precision and righteousness, that is what dharma and that is what he must have meant. He must have at least thought or it may be even inconceivable for those people. But certainly it is what we call dharma. Now in the second order of cybernetics, we are dealing with complex system that is incomplete, apurna, open, vyakta, indeterminable, aparichedya, then statistical, parisanchika. So all of these various systems are now dealt in second order of cybernetics. They are dealing with innumerable divisions which we will design and design later. Then the Final level is complex systems. There are innumerable systems beyond human thought and perception. Those behaviors, initial behavior, processive behavior, behavior of ultimate. The ultimate behavior of most of the things cannot be recognized by initial observation. Lot of things like genetic uh, crops and genetically modifiable drugs and digital drug systems they developed and they could not visualize uh, the perils that they, are impl they have implanted or that are implanted in the devices and their applications in their perceptions. Because in initial behavior, the ultimate behavior or consequential impact of your initial step will be in a certain level so that you cannot understand. So understanding complex structures, complex systems, complex theories and complex adaptive system is the recent development of our cybernetics. Then we are coming into informatics. Informatics, you know that there is a system how to deal with informatics. Informatica didactica. What is the pedagogy or what is the didactics of informatics? Information can be passed by any person. But if it is a deaf and dumb communication, what is the use of information? Information is said to be fruitful if it comes for a fruitful cause from a productive productor as well as a person who is a good receptacle. So, a person who produces or emits that information, he must be sturdy, he must be conceptually sturdy, the information must be productive. And the receptacle, he must also be in a proper method or a proper status by which he can just get the benefit and also make the thing transmitted to the society. So, informatics is not only just sending communications without minding their effect or consequences in society, 